Yeah, you already know, it's 107.7 WSCS, New Britain, Hartford. Your homie DJ B Easy, giving you the weekly mix up. Yeah. DJ Krez is still like getting out of work. Mayor Claire is still getting out of work. Shandy's World still stuck in Springfield. So but you got yeah, traffic been crazy this evening, but you know what? The show got to go on and I'm still saluting, you know, my, you know, my, my show mates and all of that. And yo, special guests back in the studio. And I just been informed it's been two years. Marv Prophet, two years? Two years, man. Yo, again, I work too much, but true. What's going on, guys? What's happening? What's cool, man? What's going on, man? Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, my G. True. There's a, there's, it's, it's only been a month and a half, and so much, so much ha has happened in this new year and whatnot. Yeah. Um, the obvious things in the sports world, the music world, and even like, um, Actually, we're gonna start off with the music and whatnot, because that's 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 the love right there. Do you agree with what um, Tyler the Creator said about like that whole urban word and whatnot? Because you know, in a sense, he's a rapper, but his last album was ho like, in a sense, I'll say it, it was pop, right. which I I ain't knocking on because him and that whole Our Future crew, they they've been grinding. So at this point, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do. So. Do you have an issue with like the word urban when it comes down to like the radios and whatnot? And do we got to switch it up, or you don't? You don't even care. It's just it's what it is. I mean, as far as me, I'm an underground artist, so at the end of the day, like that doesn't even really deal with you. my mind too yeah. much. But I do agree with him. And okay. I agree exactly what he's saying because I feel like the moment that you put a label on something, yeah, it, you're now confined to a box. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they label things urban or, you know what I mean? Like, what that does is, is that it takes it from, all right, well, being able to reach, you know, other plateaus exactly. and whatnot, such as the Grammys and things yeah. like, of that nature because they, they have categories for everything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I do, I agree with him 100%. And, and the thing is, the thing that we love is hip hop. I just had to truly think about this. Hip hop has been top 40 and popular for the past like decade plus, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Easy. So it's like, with rappers and people that's MCs, it's, it's more than just that label. Because the thing, the thing is, the broader that we could reach, the more money we could get. But right. a lot of times, if we're in this one box, basically the, the urban box, right, right. all of that, there's some you know corporations or whatever. You know, they, they could just be like, okay, that's what they do and whatnot. But we already, we know better because with Wu-Tang being global the way they doing it, right, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, before that's before Prodigy passed away, Mob be doing shows in Amsterdam and all that. Like, you know, like, hip-hop, like, the form is appreciated, you know what I'm saying? Right. That, but that's my point, though. That's why I said I don't think that he's wrong in anything that yeah. he's saying. I think that statement is very accurate. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, you know, I'm glad that he, you know, spoke on it, you know, mm -hmm. because it needs to be spoken about. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a lot of artists are getting robbed and they're getting gypped, you know what I'm saying? Because of this box that they put the music in. Like, it should be mm -hmm. recognized just like every other genre. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If rock and roll can have, you know, however many different genres, why can't hip hop? You yeah, because the, I mean? thing, the thing is, okay, you, you made a good point with rock and roll, metal music, there's different types of it so with hip-hop which one which i'm learning in the past like decade and a half with what we've been hearing with from you know travis scott to like even what drake been doing and whatnot there's different forms of the other craft right and the thing is I'm, I'm happy that this generation in a sense when it comes down to the independence they don't even need no label right they could just put out something put it on the computer and they out but what is really crazy i how my perfume smell though? Smell good. Yeah, y'all see y'all all look like, ooh, she's back in the room now. What up, though? So, like, yo, yeah. what I seen is everybody screaming that, but ain't nobody doing that, yo. On some real joy, like, everybody screaming that. Word to everything I love, yo. All the artists I really love, all the things I really love. And when I look at their background, because, you know, people be like, oh, you got to know your information. They owned by somebody. Right. Mm. So, how you teaching and you ain't walking? 
True. And that's mm. what we stuck out in hip hop because mm. everybody's screaming that. That's right. But they got to do what's going to take care of their pockets, bro, at the time, because people be really starving out here. You feel me? Well, yeah, it's politics. It's yeah, absolute, it's really it's politics. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's absolutely, absolutely politics, you know. Trust me, I, I've been through it a million times, and I go through it just dealing with artists, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and being in the music industry and doing things of that nature is politics, man. You know what I mean? Whether it be fronting on verses or yeah. whatever the case may be, trust me, there's some politics behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but what, reasons. I, what I learned right now is this game right now, has turned into the new crack game. No disrespect. No, you good. But talk it's turned talk. into the new crack game because the crack era is over. I don't right. care whoever doing it. For me, if you doing it right now, you definitely on the SSI check or some type of, you feel me, trying to keep that way, you know, the flow like you ain't on, you know. Mm. But on some real shit, the crack era right now is this rap. And right. they doing, do, it's like dudes going to jail, dudes doing time, you feel me. Do is it, 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 right now it's a new crack You can culture. sell it. They don't, they don't understand the culture. That's what it is. And what it is 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 that, like, all right, culture vultures. And it doesn't just come in the form of business people that are trying to take money from it. It comes in the form of people that are trying to rob the culture of what it really represents. Culture vultures could be right here, like, and local. We have right, culture but, vultures local. But that's what I'm saying. Culture vultures aren't just the business people. They're the artists yeah, as well. There's they're the gatekeepers. Right. I feel like it's mm-hmm. gatekeepers. Right. That's so right. when you look at it in a whole... When you're talking about exactly what you're talking about as far as these the crack era it is because there's no structure nobody like i said nobody passed down information but music right now is like like for me like if i was an artist you get what i'm saying like and i really wanted to touch this and feel this grizzly grizzly i would have mixtapes on hand because if you had a mixtape right now to give me best believe you about to get that two or three dollars you're going to see that profit right now Dudes is in fantasy land, you feel me? Like, they doing whatever. There's no profit being made if you, they gotta bring it back. Like, I remember seeing my son, even though I'm not really like, whatever, I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> I remember seeing my son out here on Walmart. And now he did, so it's, it, it, no matter how a person get there, it showed me that this nigga was at Walmart, he asked for $3. And my mom, I was with my mom, it's like when I was young, you feel me? Right. And home is there, so that means that that shit, that stuff could happen for me. You get yeah, what I'm saying? A lot of, mm-hmm. a lot comes it's different roads that. that I. You, know, you definitely gotta grind. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things that come with that, man. Just because everybody that go on the studio and put together a CD and ask for three dollars don't deserve it. Uh-huh. Yeah, but at the same token, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody you that realistic. you already mm-hmm. signing it. When you say you free, you not free. Let's we got the meek mills on about it. free, you not free. You feel me like you're putting yourself to all these programs that are saying they're free, but they own a part of your stuff. So you're not free no matter what. So at the end of the day, I'd rather take that $3 and make that flip and get that money in my pocket so I could do with my dream. Nobody going to give you that dream. Only God give you that. You can't explain it to them. They're never going to see it because he gave you that. Right. Sometimes you got to just take that wall and say, see me at the top, baby. You feel me? Right or wrong? I'm just saying, like... I feel like everybody's trying to follow what's on the picture, hmm. but they ain't trying to follow what's the grind behind the picture. Right. Well, yeah, you that, feel but, me? But, that's what, but there's, it's a generation gap, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and what created that generation gap is social media. And social hmm. media was social media was able to take people. I'm going to disagree. From, it, I mean, I wait a, you, you, wait a, wait a, wait a, wait a, hold on though. Let me let me finish my statement though Let's go. before you disagree with me. Mm-hmm. Because you got you talking to a dude who who came through the eras, okay? Like I used to be over in the front of the ranch house and over in front of Salvins and over in front of New England City Sports. Hold on, let me finish. I used to be out there mm-hmm. grinding with the dude Messiah from Fourth Quarter who turned into a. Uh, Max B sidekick, uh, I forgot what his name is now. Furry, Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood Furry. Furry. Yeah. Okay, I used to hold on, but I used to be out there. And what I'm saying is, is that when we were doing it and, and grinding, you had to do the grassroots effort, which is get out there, shake people's hand, network, and rub shoulders, because that's the only way people were going to get your music. It's a different, it's a different, different generation it's a now. Different grind. The internet made it possible for you to go into your house in your studio, right? 
put together a song, record a video, and just throw it up on the internet, and automatically, hey, this is what happens. You know What's what I'm saying? What's the end result so I can come back, baby? I mean, the end result is, is that, like I said, it's a generation gap. You know what I mean? So these kids don't understand what the grassroots efforts is of working hard and going out and selling your mm. CD and standing in front of businesses and doing that. They don't understand that. Now, why they don't understand that? that? Let me get away. to it. Let me get to it. Mm -hmm. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Let me tell you why we don't... I'm 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 a I'm a, I'm 1987. I'm a 80. I'm in a, I'm in a mix. You feel me? That's what type of band I'm in a mix. And the mm -hmm. reason why is because the dudes that had a way, you feel me? Like I was straight, but the dudes that had a way was stopping the way, right? And then you got the dudes that was full gazy still here while the real niggas was getting locked up. So who leading them? You mm. get what I'm saying? So you got a whole bunch of full gazy dudes telling these dudes this is the way. This is what happened. Social media happened. It's the Fugazi dudes. These actors, these niggas dudes that's not really from the hood. And people, you know, they give their soul to something that's shiny and nice. Yeah. Just, they look up to Fugazi dudes. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. That's what stopped. Social media not it. They looked up to these Fugazi dudes. Why? Because real niggas let Fugazi dudes in. Mm -hmm. This is like the 69 case. You get what I'm saying? This is what's going on. What happened? This is the 69. Real niggas know that they got an offer in the team or a Fugazi nigga. And they don't want to kick that dude out because he bringing some type of benefit. You feel me? And they support that nigga. They support some people, though. That's why artists get to where they at. Because it's an right, offer. They not real at all. But it's a business. And, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, when it, when it all boils down, when you're looking at the business and, like I said, what transpired, it, we're saying the same thing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like we're saying the same exact thing. We're just you, what what you're explaining and what I'm explaining is just two different sides of the coin. I'm coming from the artist perspective and you coming from the street perspective. Because honestly, when I have conversations with my guys, we talk about that all the time. One of my favorite things I tell dudes is is that a lot of these OG dudes, instead of trying to teach the youth the right way, they wanted to have their pants sagging and be just as young as. How them. are you trying to look up to a 21 year old and you 54? Right, like, but that's I don't want his sneakers like bro I sl like are you crazy like the only reason why you became OG see that's the problem with people stop calling everybody OG cause he been a landmark in front of the store right. you feel me stop it mm. stop it that's right. the problem right now because right. people are confusing what it is and what it really is and that's how we lose it good dudes you right. get what I'm saying cause everybody hip hop and rap has turned into like a product you can buy well, yeah, they, they, you get they what I'm saying? It's not that, like what it is no you know more. It's I mean? not like I'm really from the hood. This is my music. This is what I got. It's like as long as I got the right goons around me, I'm from the hood. Hey. But that's what I'm saying. If you, but that's but that's what I'm saying. We're saying the same thing. And, mm -hmm. and what I'm saying is, is that social media played a very big part in that because, like I said, these dudes don't have to be credible. They don't have to have no social background. Social media played a good and bad because if they not, it will go around. No, 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 but that's what Fast. I'm saying. No, I'm not, but I'm, I, it's always, listen, social media is always going to be the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying for the most part is is that it played a very intricate part because, like I said, you dudes ain't, you you not you weren't tested. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you were able to just put the stuff out there. It's like I said, before we was even making records and doing that, we was in ciphers and we was having a battle cast and we was mm -hmm. having to do all of the things that you had to do if you wanted to be a but part of the I'm music because everybody bro, wasn't accepted. Never forget, like you should never be struggling as an artist, bruh. You can always get this money, bruh. Carry your CDs everywhere you go, No, absolutely, bruh. absolutely. Because you should never be hungry if your bars is lit. Somebody gonna buy it, translate it, anybody. That's two dollars, three dollars, whatever. That's better than getting in the next situation where your homeboy gonna give you three dollars for, you know, to get right, or you right, gonna get right. it for free, like bro. So I get paid. So at the end of the day, always carry your music as an artist. I don't care. Carry your music because some people don't got internet to download your stuff, or they don't even hold a credit card. They probably got bread, but they don't hold a credit card. Right. So carry that bread with you so you can eat all the time. You should never be starving. It's up to you to eat. Never forget that. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I appreciate both of the point of views and whatnot. And we need we we need this conversation. We definitely mm. do. Absolutely. It's time. Saying? Connecticut is on the rise right now. Yeah. There's a lot of spicy, icy type dudes out here, you know. And they got a good, you know, background going on. So mm. we really need to like put all that legendary stuff away and like really like shine at some dudes that and women that we really shine at. Like we some flashy, get money, you know. Like we hug, but you know we like to shine. Like that's just what we like to do. So we need to get back on that wave. 
Talking What's about point? the shine, we got three new tracks from Profit. Let's hear that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's so Profit, let us know what we about to get into, yo. This musical journey, yo. Yes, sir. I came through with three singles that I got for uh, my album dropping next Friday on Valentine's Day. Or uh, it'll be available as soon as midnight, all around, streaming everywhere. It's called Socially Awkward. Uh, I got So Far Gone For You, a uh, track I did. That was one of the last tracks I did. Oh, that's going to be one of the singles. The video's dropping next Friday as well. So the 14th. I brought, I brought this, this, right. this single, Forgot Me, so you guys can tune into that. And I did a, a crazy track with, with some other artists that uh, we'll get into. But um, that's that one's drug abuse. So. And yo, I apologize that the homie Trevor, DJ Krez, wasn't able to come through because he usually handles the videos right. and we have the extra camera. So I'm going to give you his information so you can get that video out there sure. too. Besides YouTube, but just all in the circle and whatnot too. Mm -hmm. You gotta apologize, man. We know how it go. Yeah. And ladies, let me just let you know we got us a song package right now. He, you know, Poppy right here. You feel me? Can you lift up the hat so we can keep it original? <laughs> lift up the hat. Let's see. Well, let me make sure you're right. It's all right, Boogie. He all right. So just check them out. Make sure they can follow you. Can you say where they can follow you at? Airbender three eyes. Airbender IG all around. Yeah. Let me hear like some, you know. <sighs> Uh -uh. No, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it for him and let, just check him out, follow him. You know, you need that for your work schedule. Love. You know, when you're bored and stuff. Or, or. Love, thank you. Yeah, we about to go straight into the joints, right?